Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Today's video will be how I refill my nails with regular acrylic powder to get them from looking like this to looking like this. Now if you want a quick option, this is not the video for you so please keep looking. But cheap, definitely stay tuned. The one key thing that I would recommend getting is an electric nail file. This thing changed my whole nail game altogether, so I definitely would recommend. I got this from off of Amazon for about 15 bucks. Before we get started, I am not a professional, so do with that as you will. I just want to apologize now. I did a horrible job filming and it is really off-centered. But I hope that I do a good enough job to explain everything. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. What I did was turn on the drill to a low setting, enough to get the polish off, but not too high, because you will hurt yourself if you're going too high. You use a coarse drill bit. I like to use the one that's a little round at the corner. And again, I'm sorry for not doing too good of a job with showing you things, but I do want to just make sure you get the gist of what I'm doing. Unfortunately, I cannot re-record and this is kind of a one-time deal. So basically, I'm going back and forth, taking off the top layer of gel and polish and any decorations that I have on my nails, making sure that I do it as neat as possible and as even as possible. This process together took me about one hour to do all 10 nails. Trying to make sure that the nail around the cuticle area is smooth so when you add the new acrylic, it goes on smoothly. I also recommend brushing off your finger every time you're done because the dust starts to get everywhere and it will start to get messy. Now I'm going to basically fast forward and cut most of this out because I believe you get the dress. Make sure you get all the color off and that it's smooth. Now what I'm doing is making sure that around my cuticle area is smooth like I previously stated. I want to make sure that the new acrylic powder adheres to the nail. Now I'm just filing the nail, make sure that it's smooth and ready for the next part. You want to spend a lot of time on making sure that your nail is fit for the next step, making sure that everything is smooth and in order because that will definitely help when it comes to actually putting on the next layer of acrylic. So now after all of that, you want to proceed with the standard nail prepping which is pushing back your cuticle softly and then cutting the extra cuticle skin with a cuticle cutter. It's actually time to start applying the acrylic. I use a round brush that I got from eBay for about $5 a kit and I do recommend a good brush. This one was okay. Now I recommend using Nail Dehydrate it helps with the bond between the, the acrylic and your nail. It's not necessary, but if you do decide to use it, make sure that you're putting it on your actual nail and not on your cuticle area. Now you can use an acrylic kit from like Walmart, such as I think the Kiss Kit. I've actually used and it wasn't that bad, but the one that I'm using is from Mia Secret and I use their extra bond. I think the whole kit together was about $15. Next, pour a little bit of the liquid monomer into a small cup container. I'm going to do my best to try to explain this to you. So I have worked on my monomer to acrylic powder ratio for a while and the tip that I can give to you is to scoop the powder, not dip your whole brush into the powder. You want the acrylic 
to form a ball on the brush only on one side. Now what I've done here is put that ball on the base of the old acrylic that was already on my nail, pat it down so that it reaches my cuticle area but not touch it and then start brushing towards the end of my nail. This creates the flawless look but it also allows you leeway to add more monomer, I mean add more acrylic powder if you need to. I actually recommend looking at videos to improve your monomer to acrylic ratio. Like I have stated in the title, this is not a tutorial, more a how I did it. Here I'm just using the acrylic bead to make sure that I cover all areas of my nail. I don't want to see any of my nails. That's how I will know that everything is covered. And making sure that everything is even is also really important. So I just glide my brush over just to make sure there's no lumps or uneven spaces. But if there are, it's okay because you can always fix it in the end. Now you want to do this to every nail and pay attention to any spaces and also make sure not to put any of the acrylic on your cuticle because that is very important. In the end it will cause lifting so you do not again want the, the acrylic powder excuse me, to touch your skin. Now that everything is filled in it's time for more filing. You want to make sure you focus on the edges and your cuticle area. Again, I recommend using the electric drill to work on your nail bed. Now that you have finally finished filing, it's time to design your nails. I use gel polish that I got from um, eBay. It's okay, not the best quality, but it does get the job done. And then I use, I forget exactly the name of the powder, but it's like a mirroring powder. And then I added some rhinestones and that was all. Here is the finished product. If you like this video and want to see more like it, please like and subscribe and comment. And I will promise to bring you more content. Thank you and goodbye.